Welcome back to the Block Heldon Gyms for another part of our training series with Jan. Jan, thank you for joining me. Now, usually you intro these things, but today we're going to be looking at lock-off training. That requires a bit of discussion, so I thought we'd have a talk before we get started. So, Jan, what is a lock-off? Basically, I would say there are two types of lock-offs. A full lock, where you can like hold and pull the all the way up and hold this position. And a half lock, where you go to 90 degrees from your forearm to your upper arm and hold that position. So lock off in each of these positions. All right, so it's, it's literally as it sounds, it's locking your arm. Yeah. Why is that useful for climbing? I would say it's useful for climbing, of course, because you can lock in a position and search the next hold. And if you got it, you can sort your fingers in perfectly. But it also helps a lot, for example, when you have a clip that you can do over extended. So you can lock off in the position, have a lot of time to do, get the rope and do the clip. I'm glad you said about clipping because for me, that's the biggest benefit of working these things. Because when usually I'm, I'm on a sport route, yeah. you take off a hand, you reach down, you pull up the rope. And there's this moment where you're on usually, hopefully, three yeah. points, yeah. but you are locked on that arm. Now, obviously yeah. it's better to clip in a more relaxed position with Definitely, your arms yeah. straight, but there are those times when you're having to crimp like hell, lock something off and make a clip. And if you're better at lock offs, your confidence improves and you get smoother and quicker clipping or at least that's what I found yeah definitely it makes it easier because like you won't fall when you do the clip and if you're sure that you can lock it off and hold the position mm -hmm. till your clip is in overall better better performance on Perfect. The and of course by getting good at lock offs you're gonna overall improve at climbing just because your strength is gonna get better you're gonna get pull, up, pull yeah. ups are gonna be better your back muscles are gonna be stronger definitely cool okay so yeah and you've got a three part exercises for us today. Yes. Tell me a bit about them. We will start, of course, as any in any of these exercises with the easiest one, and then we'll give the two more options, different exercises that get harder. But of course, for each exercise, we can always tweak them, make each exercise a little bit easier or a little bit harder. Awesome. Well, guys, uh, check this out. Remember, take it slowly, build it up. Off we go. Before attempting any of these exercises, make sure you are properly warmed up. The first and easiest exercise is best done on a pull-up bar. Place your hands shoulder width apart with your palms facing away from you. Pull up until the bar is at your chest. Hold for 3 seconds, then slowly lower until your arm is at 45 degrees. Hold for 3 seconds, then lower to 90 degrees. Hold for another 3 seconds. Finally, lower to about 120 degrees and hold for 3 more seconds. Complete three sets. To make this harder, add another rotation of lowering or hold for more time. The next exercise involves rings. If your gym doesn't have them, then they are very cheap to buy. Place one hand on each ring with your hands sideways or neutral. Do a pull up until the rings are at your chest. Once in that position, stretch one arm out while keeping the other one close to your chest. Hold for three seconds in that stretch position. Repeat this three times on each side. To make this pull-up harder, do an archer pull-up. This is our hardest exercise and can be intense on your elbows. We are completing a supported one arm pull up locking off at the top before slowly lowering. Start with one arm on a jack or bar. Use a sling, band or support from the other hand to complete the pull up. At the top slowly release the tension on your support hand until you cannot support your weight on one arm. Do this on one arm then rest before moving onto the other side. 
remember to stay in control. Repeat for three sets. To make it harder, let go of the supporting arm at the top and slowly lower. Thank you so much to all our athletes for demonstrating those exercises throughout this series. Now, Jan, for me, lock-offs are one of those things that you don't need it to climb. However, if you level up that skill, you will notice an overall uh, increase in your climbing ability. Definitely. It's like more or less with a one-arm pull-up, you don't need it but it will help you, of course, it doesn't do any harm. Another thing, it's not only just about strength, it's also about flexibility when we talk about the full lock, because I have a very bad flexibility in my elbow, I can almost touch my shoulder, and if your flexibility in here, between, is better, the angle gets smaller and the full lock, it's easier to hold. So literally just straight arm down? Yeah, you have a very small angle here, so for, it's, for you it's easier to hold the full lock. Maybe I've just got small biceps. No, no, it's not about the biceps size. I, I use it all the time as an a, a excuse, but no, just more flexibility. All right, guys, we're gonna leave you now. However, before we go, as a bonus clip, I want you to check out what this man can do using ceiling beams, because it kind of blew my mind. Thanks for watching, thanks for watching the series. Comment below if you found it useful, and we'll see you next time in Blockhelm. If you really wanna step up on your pinch and pull-up training, I got a little treat for you.